up guys, Vez here tonight. I'm doing a little quick video. I promise this is not gonna be a long one. VZ330 all wheel drive. That was an upgrade I've done recently. I finished it yesterday in fact. Um, and I wanted to show you that. Quad XY, X, X1, Y, Y1. Four motors with beautiful aluminum CNC parts. You can buy them from Mellow or F3D, but you don't have to. You can also print them and it will also be very awesome. Um, advantage of, of aluminum, obviously, stiffness and also heat dissipation from the motor mounts. I've also added um, heat sink there on each motors. You can see that. Um, that's gonna help a bit. So this is the all-wheel drive and um, people have asked a lot of questions and I'm gonna try to answer all of the questions tonight so that might help people who wants to look at it why you wanna do it so let's start first four motors why would anybody would go with a all-wheel drive setup um, there's enough speed to do with two motors that is exactly right but having a all-wheel drive setup will get you more speed and more acceleration but that is not the main main reason why you would want to do that but first of all more acceleration obviously you have more power so I was able to um, compare the acceleration I was uh, having with um, two motors versus four motors and that was very interesting to find out it th there's a lot of gain to gain to get there I think I got like 22 K acceleration at a thousand millimeters per second in diagonal and now I'm doing like 34 so a big 12K upgrade at a thousand millimeters per second on a on a diagonal. And so more power, that's that's one advantage. Um, I also tested um, four drivers, Steptic drivers, 5160 uh, high voltage. And uh, to my surprise, I was not able to go much higher in acceleration than the actual two-wheel drive setup or two motor setup. And I was a bit surprised running at the same amp, 48 volts, 2 amp, and it was not a big of an increase. I was wondering why was that, and probably I was maxing out those Steptic drivers because now I'm running the ultra super powerful Mellow or Fly TMC 5160 external drivers, and those are beast and they they have a lot more power than the step sticks and that's that's what I figured on this upgrade because that was the first time I was comparing the step sticks with the external drivers link in the description if you're interested in those drivers they are super powerful they have bigger caps capacitors um, two big capacitors on there they have um, an external gate voltage regulator at 12 volts and compared to the step sticks which they are at 5 volts um, at 12 volts, they will heat a lot less. And on 5 volt regulator, they will generate a lot of heat. So a lot of power will be lost in on the step stick itself. The step stick is gonna it's gonna heat up very very hot, and you lose a lot of power in heat. Not with those drivers. All powers go well. There's a bit of of heat, obviously, but most power will go to your motors. So that is one big big thing about them. And the big capacitors have a capacity. This is kind of having two big batteries ready for power delivering also on those motors. So very good drivers. I was just surprised how much more power I could get with just a switch from step sticks to external drivers. Same TMC5160. So now the second and the main reason why would anyone would want to go with all-wheel drive setup. It's the resonance or or the input shaper results and this is where it gets really really interesting so everyone knows about resonance and belt resonance so adding an extra motor here and there you shorten the path of your actual belt so they're held here on four corners so it reduces the vibration but also it, it has more power so that effect on on the printer and if you do input shaping and with the accelerometer that I normally just uh, install on the nozzle I was very 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 amazed and impressed by the result and I'm, I'm very happy this is where 
the all-wheel drive setup will be the main advantage because we don't really need super high speed uh, I mean I just do super high speed on on YouTube video but most of my printed parts are at 250 300 sometimes 400 millimeters per second sometimes even lower at 100 but acceleration you can go fast without actually having to set the speed high with high acceleration but the thing is with high acceleration comes ringing and print quality degrades and and you have artifacts all over your printed parts so with with all-wheel drive that is the big upgrade you get a huge increase in quality because um, according to the graphs that you're gonna measure with your accelerometer you're gonna see that um, you can run a lot more acceleration before the input shaper starts to kick in so you always see in the corner that the recommended top acceleration so this um, I wouldn't say you have to go there just not crossing over that value is normally good so if it tells you like 10k max acceleration running at maximum 8k would be fine and you won't get um, a lot of smoothening that's what it does input shaper will smooth out the acceleration and 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 um, to to have uh, to stay away from that vibration at a special hertz, a special frequency where it's going to vibrate. So that is the main thing. Higher acceleration you can go without sacrificing quality, and we all want quality. By the way, look at this. This is a very nice. A uh, cereal plate that my buddy Rag just sent me. I got that today. Very awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It looks super good. So, all-wheel drive, higher quality, higher performance, higher everything. So, I think it's just a cool upgrade. And if you do the printed parts, it's just adding uh, two motors. What you're going to need, two more motors, obviously. You're going to need the gear on each motor, a 20T gear. And you're going to need... Um, two, two extra smooth idler, uh, one here, one here. You don't need to buy a toothed idler because you already have, if you're running a VZ330, you already have a toothed idler here. You have two idlers here, two idlers here. So you're going to keep them. You're going to keep one here, one here, and one smooth there, one smooth there, and you're good. So um, you buy two 20 feet gears, two smooth pulleys, and you're good to go. And another question was, what about the belts? Are you gonna need extra length or buy new belts? No, well, at least it all depends on how much uh, loose you left in the back here, um, as you can see here. Um, this is the same belt and I still have a lot of loose that I can use. And I'm not using all the uh, adjustment here on the tensioning. So you don't need to buy new belts, this is the same. Uh, these two are the exact same belts I was running before, so that is a big plus. I was wondering if it would need extra belt, but no. <laughs> Good thing you don't need them. And another thing that I've been asked about that all-wheel drive mod is, are you going to lose any of Printeria or print space? And to answer that, the answer is yes. Unfortunately, um, if you bring the gantry all the way up to the front, um, this is where it's gonna get you so let me just show you on the bed what that looks like so as you can see this is my 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 startup line when I prime the nozzle and it's about 15 millimeters so you lose about 15 millimeters um, on my side I just lose about like seven because I was already losing a bit here because that PEI sheet is 310 by 310 and the, the VZ buck 330 is obviously 330 by 330 so you lose 15 millimeters in Y, but the rest is still perfectly, it's capable of reaching that 330 size. So you lose 15 in Y. Um, and also another modification that you're gonna have to do is just print that new uh, Y stop switch mount. Um, it's, it's gonna be a little different because uh, it's a little wider on, on, on the motor mounts. So it's also on GitHub in the all-wheel drive mud. The, stop switch mount will be there. And the last thing, if you were like me and you were running those uh, LEDs, now I've placed them directly on, on the frame, but before they were sitting kinda here, a little uh, under 
that extrusion. But now it cannot fit anymore because the under motor mount will be longer. The original was like that and now it's longer. So I had to move it to the front. Not a big deal. I'm losing a bit of light because those two belts are catching uh, the lights there. But it's not a big deal because the, the lights were too powerful. And now I think that is the perfect amount of lighting. That makes the video good looking. It's more, uh, more pleasant to look at it. So I, I think that was a good thing overall. So that was about it for the all-wheel drive upgrade. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I have not printed it. I have not printed with it yet, but that's going to come. And uh, I, will, I will let you know and show you a couple videos on how that setup is performing. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be awesome. According to the input shaper graph, I will be able to print faster with better quality without input shaper kicking in at a uh, higher acceleration. I'm probably going to be able to hit 15 to 20, between 15 to 20 according to the graph, uh, before input shaper starts to kick in and start smoothing the, the print. So on this, I wish you all a good night. Thanks for watching. And um, another thing, we're going to come later. Uh, we're ready to do the full Z aluminum. The parts are ready. That's so exciting. So we're about to release that as well as beta probably, but I'll be testing first as well and my team will be testing. So that Z, entire Z aluminum will be ready soon. Um, so awesome thing coming. Also, the, uh, I'm not gonna say uh, that three, those three letters, but the, the hot end, uh, this guy here. <laughs> that was called LSD before we decided to change the name it's now called the Goliath and that's gonna be the name from now on um, <laughs> I'm sorry for that name it was not the best thing to call it that way apologize to anyone that um, were not offended but but found that it was not a professional way of calling something <laughs> that was totally right and totally true and it was it was something bad I've done I, I, I'm sorry so Goliath sounds a lot better and I like that name and I like that hot end. So stay tuned. This hot end is very close to a release. We're working on the packaging now. So stay tuned on that one. It's coming out, guys. So on this, have a great um, evening, guys, and see you on the next one. Goodbye.